And in rainy seasons, natural disasters, we can run to buildings that are fortified like this one. It is a refuge. When it is a sun, you come in for shelter. When it is windy, you come in for coverage. When attacks happen out there, you come in for protection. Even the sun is present the same cage. He said there is a refuge. That we must know of. A refuge that we tend to forget in hard times. Even when that person that is a refuge will tell you, Come to me, it does not make sense to you. When an, when an individual has not yet underwent situation, a message like this one is not for them. They cannot fully grasp it. It does not make sense to that individual. The sound says there is a refuge. There is a place we can run to. It means when these things continue to happen, there is a place we can run to. While there is still breath in your nostrils, there is a place you can run to. It is a strong refuge. When I say it is strong, you know of the wish doctors from your family. All those people that are into us, ancestral worship. The way people say they are strong. I remember very well when we were growing up. There was this certain, yeah. There were Moroja trees there. We were told that at any given day we are not supposed to go in. And in that land there was no Moroja tree that was pleased like the one in that yard. We were told that there is a goblin and a zombie there. And we believed it because at one point when we tried to go into that yard, we saw a, a, a boy fell down and began to fall at the mouth. So we believed that there was a goblin there. Give me more. It did not just happen to us as kids. Even in today's era, it is still happening. There are things that are troubling our souls. There are things that we do not know where to go to for help. But there is a refuge. There are issues that have burdened our souls. That when you take time to think or to ponder upon these things, you, you feel it is better to end your life. There are certain deeds that you did back in the days that are now tormenting your soul. When you think of those things, you feel like taking your own life. Tell your neighbor there is a refuge. <laughs> now it says it is a strong tower, a strong refuge. All those wish doctors, those goblins. Whatsoever it may be, how they figure the time. When it says it is a strong tower, it means this thing will try and hit this thing, but they will not prevail. They will not prevail.
We went to his wedding ceremony. <laughs> when we got there, when we went there, they gave us food. All the uncles refused the food. They said, let, let it go first to the pastor, to the pastor. They opened, they said, that to the pastor. <laughs> the other uncle whispered something to me. He said, we don't trust them all. It is the situation that is talking. 
If it is a debt that is afflicting your soul, it is no longer you that speaks. It is no longer God that speaks. It is the debt that is the louder voice. Even when you are sitting down introspecting your life, in your mind, it is battled. It is the dead that is crying out aloud. It is the sickness that is constantly in your mind. It is as if you can explode and say, who will deliver me? Who will vindicate me? It is hard. It is you cannot sleep at night. You cannot sleep. Even if you take sleeping medication, you cannot sleep. It is your soul that has been suppressed. Who will vindicate me? We people pretend, we love to pretend. Like some of us here in this gathering. We pretend. It is as if there is nothing painful in our hearts. Service in, service out, you just see a smile on your neighbor's face. But inside the heart, it is a bleeding heart. The spirit is subdued. The psalmist says, even the, if the mountains would shake, he talks of big situations when they have come. But the refuge still remains the same. It is not shaken at any given day. Even if the earth will, will split apart. Even if all the horrible things would happen. The refuge still remains. It still stands the same. It does not change. That is why I give Jesus Christ is my first priority. And Jesus Christ is my first priority. That's my place of refuge. Before I can run to Tessay, before I can run to my wife, there is a place I must run to. A certain lady in Hansi said something from church as she was driving. A car began to smoke when she was driving and it stopped on its own accord. The doors locked themselves in some and it began to smoke. So the first thing that she said is the motus. There is a refuge. There is a strong, solid, fortified refuge. That can never be shaken at any point. I can be shaken. When I find a thief pointing a gun, my father will run. Take off. Fly. There is a refuge that cannot be shaken. Thank you. 
will refuse what is many. I say, greet them in heaven or in hell. My father. It went to a place where there was a turbulence and it began to shake. And people were crying, throwing babies like they were stones. And, and I was afraid. And I, this thought came through my mind. Say, so why are you afraid? You are on air. If it goes down, you are gone. Why are you afraid? When you are in the air, you are in the hands of God. I felt peace in my heart. And I, my father rested. Ask your neighbor, what is your refuge? The way we blaspheme and insult God. Even when a righteous towards him. The women that were complaining, the old men complaining of their knees.
indeed know that Jesus Christ is a refuge, he is a tower. When such times come your way, the psalmist says, I will arise at midnight hour and give you praise, O God. When such times knock at your door, it is to tell this tower of refuge how good and strong it is. Tell that tower you are my refuge. You are a strong tower of refuge. No matter if the earth has split into, no matter the mountains shaking. This tower will do something in your life. 